Hi guys, I'm Shannon from Color Curate and today I'm here to talk to you about teal. The biggest question I get about teal, um, actually it's more of a statement, teal is a universal color and that's true-ish because it basically leans neutral, so it is neutral, relatively neutral. Um, teal is a deep blue-green and blue-green, where is my blue-green? <laughs> okay, so we have Yellow green, definitely warm. Green, in between warm and cool. Blue green and blue being more cool. So teal is in between a warm green and a, sorry, a warm blue and a cool green. So by nature, it's sort of relatively neutral. It's on the color wheel, so it's not neutral. But, um, so most people can wear it and it's a fairly forgiving color. Um, you know, whereas orange, completely warm or, um, violet completely cool those are a little harder but anyway so teal is a forgiving color so most people can wear it which version of teal is best for you varies by season and some seasons actually don't even get a teal in their color palette it doesn't mean they can't wear it it just means it's not their greatest color so as an example I um, I have a custom fan um, a custom fan but my standard fan would be a light summer and it really doesn't get a traditional teal why because it's a light bright season so teal is just a little bit dark for them doesn't mean they can't wear it I'm obviously wearing it today so I've chosen to wear two versions of teal for you super hard to see in the video but this is my best best version of teal and it's because it it's a brighter teal I'm gonna hold up a more summer version I don't know if you can see that but this version a summery teal has some muted softness to it whereas this has a brightness to it so this brighter version is more of a spring light summer version it's my best teal um, but I brought like 11 pieces of teal up here to my studio today so obviously I have a lot of teal in my closet and again that goes back to it being neutral the other thing about it as a light season I don't have very many options for dark colors so in the winter teal is kind of my go-to color to not feel dead and still wear color because it is harder for me the other thing is my custom fan is a little better with teal than the standard fan and why is that because my eyes are a little bit dark for a light summer I I have um, here's my eye color and you can see that they literally read teal um, they also read light blue when I wear light blue but they read teal when I wear teal so it's it's forgiving for me in fact this sweater I literally bought because it's my eye color and it's a turtleneck so I wear it all winter long um, I wear it all winter long because it's cozy it's my eye color so when you wear your eye color like your exact eye color um, it's your communication color and and people's eyes go directly to your eyes people look directly at your eyes and feel that you are credible and believable so it's a great color um, it's a bit of softness it's a little bit of a summer teal but um, it's less soft than this t-shirt which is truly summer teal all right who gets the most teal autumns why I think they get the most teal in their palettes because um, they don't really get blue so it's kind of their blue and their blue green all at once so autumns get the most teal overall as a season and the teal is the most quintessential color so to speak for soft autumns and soft summers. so both soft autumns and soft soft summers get a lot of teal which is why I'm focusing on it here here now in September um, because August is the summer in my opinion of soft summer and September is this um, month of soft autumn August soft summer September soft autumn and since they're both heavily um, or quintessentially teal or whatever that's what I chose to focus on so I showed you a, a couple summers this is a spring where it's brighter and um, slightly lighter and then autumns I don't know if you can see it but do you see how this particular teal has a little a slight amount you know just a percentage amount more green in it than this teal which has just a little bit more blue in it 
So um, that would be an example of an autumn, but uh, autumns pretty much can wear every single teal I'm throwing out here. It's a go-to color for them. I showed you a summer, just a little bit softer and more muted. Um, but also I wanted to point out this top because I have a summer client and she's always trying to wear green. And um, she's like, well, is this one my green? No, every green you're pulling out is a spring green. <laughs> So, um, because summers don't really get green. Green is a fairly warm color. This would be the closest. It's kind of in between green and teal. Um, it's a very cool green, lots of blue in it. So this is a beautiful summer green or teal that is different than traditional teal. Here, but you see how they go together? They're soft. This would be great on a true summer or a cool summer. Um, look fabulous in this shirt. Angela, if you're watching, this is your green. Okay, and then winters. Winters, hi, I'm back. Winters, um, it's the depth that works great for them. Most, it, most of them look great in teal as well. Um, so here's a bluer version, and do you see how it's just deeper than my best version? Again, I'm not saying this is my best color, I'm saying it's my best version of teal. And do you see how this is deeper, but also still still blue, a lot more blue in this teal than this one. So again, this one's also deeper. So here's a slightly more green version of teal and a slightly more blue version of teal, both of them very dark. Winters tend to get dark teals, so this is a greener and a bluer version, both for winters. Dark autumns would look great in this one um, because it's got a little bit more green in it and they can usually handle depth. So winter, darkness, uh, lots of blue or some green, so that's fine. And then springs, lighter, brighter, summers, hello, I'm finding it, summers, softer, and autumns, slightly greener. Yeah, but autumns, it's their color. They can really pull off pretty much any teal and um and look fabulous but the best sub seasons for teal the like woohoo let me wear it every day soft autumn soft summer so i hope that answers some of your questions about it being a universal color if you're picking a bridesmaid's dress or bridesmaid's dresses you can't go wrong with teal so in that sense it's a universal color and i hope you're coloring yourself happy today i am such a dork bye